Welcome to the Craves Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm like the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. It is a tragic day at the Crazy Town Compound. <laughs> is it? What, 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 what happened, man? You lose your teddy bear? I lost my bunny. You lost your bunny? No. There was a murder at the Crazy Town <laughs> Compound. <laughs> Am I implicated in anything? I was. I don't know. Are you? Where were you on the night of the murder? In bed, probably asleep. That's most likely where I was. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, yeah. Somebody was uh murdered. Where uh where I stay. So I I guess I was asleep during this, but uh, it did actually you happen. May have there. been at work. Oh, okay. That's that's cool too. There was a shooting nearby. Now, look, I will one hundred percent say is that I've lived in way worse neighborhoods where there was uh, probably you know more shootings per capita in the general yeah, vicinity. There's not a lot of murders in the town we live in. Yeah, really. I mean yeah. they happen. Yeah, but not for as big of a city as we live in. There's not a lot of murders here. It ain't Chicago I mean... where there's like a hundred a day. Yeah, or Detroit. Right. Or Washington, D.C. Right. Or so, Florida. Uh, let me. So, like, yeah, there was there was a murder very close. Bro, How does, that, does that aphase you at all? You know, it's crazy because I've been watching a lot of like uh, I told you uh, a couple weeks now. I've been watching a lot of the interrogation videos. So not really. Um, I don't want to say is that I've like when you look into the like the interrogation of a person who commits a crime of this nature you start to understand is that they are just a human being. Now, a lot of times it's like a lot of circumstances have driven them to this point. Right. And right. They have gone crazy. Yeah. <laughs> and they do not know how to handle that. But <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I don't think I would be capable of doing something, but it don't really yeah. surprise me. Even people, motherfuckers die every day. You I'm, I'm going to get on my soapbox for a minute here. I don't, I don't soapbox very often, but here, here we are. You feel like you got it going and you, man, get it out. So, so they did not find the person who did this murder. They are at large. Shut up. Are it, you serious? It, somebody came, shot, and left. What? It was a true murder. Like, it wasn't like, oh, we're fooling around and someone got shot. It was someone got murdered. And uh, it wasn't It wasn't the police department. It was not the police department. <laughs> you sure? Because they, and, they uh, like to murder people. So, Just saying. Interesting tidbit. This no. is not the first time that this has happened to me. When I lived what does in, that mean? When I lived in Cleveland, what does that mean? I moved into a place. Huh? And I was at the bar next door drinking one night. Okay. And they're like, oh, you just moved here? Yeah, where you live? I live there. They go, oh, you didn't hear about the murder? And I was like, excuse me? So the, the one in Cleveland, it was, a, it was like a key card building you mm -hmm. had to get into. Mm -hmm. uh, a girl let four masked men in the door who mm -hmm. then went to the guy's apartment, were trying to kick the door in, and he was trying to keep them from bringing it in. They shot him through the door and killed him. Wow. Like I found the story online. Wow! And I was like, "Oh, so same somebody got murdered near here." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Most people would be like, "Oh, that's pretty effed up." Hey, Jonas, didn't your car get stolen twice this year too? Maybe you live in a bad neighborhood. Wow! And I'm like, <laughs> "We live in a bad neighborhood." <laughs> here's here's my take on this. I do not fear for my life at all. No, me either. You, you know either. why? Because in order for a hit squad to come to your place and murder you, mm. you did something. That part. That like they're not sending four men in mass to kick in your door. On mass. What? I said on mass. On mass. I don't know what you're talking about. You're good. You got it. Okay. I'm uh. Just... At, or like. That doesn't, yes, there are random acts of violence everywhere. But mm -hmm. if someone comes to your residence and murders you, mm -hmm. you probably did something to make them mad. That you know part. what I do? I don't do things to make people that mad. That part. Yeah. I mean, rest in peace, the, the man or woman who was murdered. But I'm <laughs> curious what they did. What they did? You victim blaming right now? I'm not victim blaming. That, that sounded very victim. That was a no. victim blamey statement. No, 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 no. I'm curious. Let me rephrase. I'm curious of the chain of events that led to the shooting. Okay, that part. That that's a good way. That's a yeah, good PC like, way to victim blame. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> like that. I like that. Not victim blaming. <laughs> no, nah, it's cool. I do. You're not wrong. You're not wrong because a lot of a lot of these a lot of those things do happen because of the activities that a person is involved in. Now, that's not to say is that if it were like a a, a crime of passion or love or like a love. Yeah, like the girlfriend lived here and he was pissed and just came here and murdered her and left or vice yeah. versa. Like, I yeah. mean, maybe because like if your girl's cheating on you, I understand you mad, but that's not a reason to kill yeah, her. Yeah, maybe you know? some dude was banging some dude's wife. He found out he came here and killed him. Oh, uh, see now that you did that to yourself. That one you did to yourself. You go around effing a dude's wife. Mm, there's a chance you could get killed. There's a chance. People do murder each other over effing their wives and you, husbands. Yeah, I mean, you run that risk. You roll in the die every time you put your D into a, a taken woman's jig. You know, wow, you're running, you're really running that. You're running the risk. Say that. I don't know. You know, a couple juice forces down the hatch and you get, you get to talking. Yeah, so. Uh, so, yeah, I don't fear for my life here either, Jonas. Nah. No, no, I'm not in fear. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go for a walk tonight when it's dark outside. And that's the thing, man. It's like we I, I, I feel like I can do that. I wouldn't feel bad like walking around the block in this area at night. No, like it's not. It's not a bad area to live. No, no, no like we live in a larger city. It's one of the uh, the premier cities in America, Austin. We can, yeah. we can go ahead and say Yeah, it. I mean, it's like knows. the 10th biggest city population-wise in the country. Yeah, and it's crazy, and it's, and it's even growing, man. Like, we see a lot of construction, a lot of... A lot of residential being put in into yeah, the area. Yeah, complex, which, strip plazas, all the, all the gentrified stuff. But, uh... I still don't feel unsafe walking the streets. There, there's been an incre an influx of homelessness or homeless people. I will say uh, to the area from California. Uh, residents impaired. R residentially impaired. Is that what you just said to me? <laughs> Residentially impaired. Is that what we're calling them now? Yo, no, you you about to really make me broke conservative. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, you but, keep but, saying but it's, it's like not, that. You're not supposed to call homeless anymore. It's a, uh, it's like it's something like that. Something like lazy. Like, Can we call them? Wow. Up? I'm sorry. Wow. You are you are you victim shaming homelessness? Am I victim? Are we we victim in, in, in this now? You were addicted to narcotics, and you want to call me the problem? Are you you're addicted to narcotics, and brother? You call look. me the problem. Hey, look, man. You know, pull yourself up by your bootstraps. <laughs> but I, mean, I but I don't feel in danger walking around because like honestly homeless people are cool man as long as you're just respectful but you know or you just don't talk that's also an option I don't know growing up like spending the time I spent in New York has has assisted me so much in the south because I just don't talk to anybody yeah yeah I mean and people here are even somewhat friendly for the most part for the most part and then uh it's but, false but yeah it's man I've, I've lived in some real bad neighborhoods you have, yeah. You have. You lived in Youngstown, Ohio, man. Yeah. Let's not even get started. I used to drive around like trying to like repo people's furniture. That's insane. That you, was an insane job. You was Saturday asking. morning, eight a.m. I'm knocking on a porch. Like, where's your TV? Can you give me four hundred dollars? What are you over under on you getting shot on that job? Has anybody ever gotten shot on a job? Uh, my old boss had a gun pulled on him for sure. That's what I'm talking here, about. Here, man. Here's the thing, man. It's all about the way you approach people. They know that they owe the money and they shouldn't have the item. They know that. I mean, yeah, but that so, don't mean so that they won't. So you go up act, mm -hmm. acting a fool. Like, I, when, when my old boss trained me on that job, uh -huh. he was, like, he was huge man. Big. Like, old offensive lineman in, like, a not big school. So we went to, like, the hood. It was definitely the hood. And he took me into the hood. And it, and it, was, it, was, it was daytime still. It wasn't at night. The this man is crazy. stood on a front porch... Pounding on the front door so loud with his big ham hock fist that I swear you could have heard it like three streets over. And he's just like, boom, 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 boom. And I'm like, you are going to get shot. That's how you get shot. That's how you get shot, man. You know what I did? You know what I did? Knock, knock. Nobody answered. But he never got shot. He knew what he Maybe ate. he did now. He got he... fired for stealing. So, <laughs> that what does that mean? I don't know. You, Whoa, you figure it you, out. Why are you bringing up charges on this guy? You bringing up history that don't even matter pertain to the course. That's an ad hominem attack. That's I what will. we call that. Yeah, I'll double entendre him too. Wow, ad hominem and double entendre <laughs> all in one assault. So, look, anywho, look, man, be safe. 
Yeah, okay. hey. Be safe. I don't want anybody to die, especially me. That's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecreatetown.com. For Jonas. TNT. Oh, yeah.